see some pre-stage probing, right? You see red and blue kind of testing things out. Um, and if we, we're pulling back the collaboration channel here, uh, what you can see is the teams are actually sharing their plans for the future. Now it's interesting that red and, red and blue, sorry, I think I said green before, red, red and blue are already transmitting fairly heavily, right? And you see these little pockets of green, uh -huh. but they're not really doing much yet, <laughs> no. right? And they haven't all, they also, up until that point, hadn't asked for anything. But here later on, if we move a little bit into stage one, we see them suddenly come on board and say, hey, I want this. They haven't transmitted there yet. They're just asking or, or advertising that that's like, where they're going to transmit in the future. So this looks like probing behavior on Green's part, right? <laughs> Sending some things out, trying to feel their way out here. Um, so let's go ahead and run the match. So we see here that Green has said that they want a band, so that they're, they're laying claim to it. And then they sort of test it, and then they jump there in. There we go. We just saw them claim that band. That's right. So I'd like to go ahead and continue to run the match. And what I want to highlight here is, Paul, if you look at what's happening, to the right of this boundary. Check out, especially with, with blue and red over here in this area, that first highlight was not useful. Especially this blue and red area over here, what you see is like a dynamic, real-time auction-like behavior. Yeah, I saw That's, I saw red claim a band and then blue claim it in the future. I, I know it's hard to see, can we loop? Uh, let's go back and watch that again. So, if you watch this, blue and red are constantly shifting around each other and moving where they want to be. Right. Yes. This is this is all happening autonomously in real time, right? And, and they're able to do it pretty successfully. That, that, that's a. It's interesting that they're using the collaboration so effectively. B. It, it's also working from a scoring perspective. These teams are at this point um, both red and, and blue have gotten all of their applications satisfied for this first. Day. That's right. Yeah, I really want to highlight that here. So red has completely serviced both their applications and maxed out their points at eleven, and so has blue. So that I mean. That was really cool. That was awesome. All right, let's go ahead and continue to run the match. And what we'll see here as we continue to move forward is the teams are communicating far into the future, right? This isn't like, oh, this is what I'm going to do a second from now. They're, talk they're, they're telling each other plans way in advance. Um, now, what we saw, I'm going to look at the failure filter now for what's happening. Uh, if we continue to run the match. Great. So if we look at this, uh, there's very little that's going wrong. Yeah, I, I, there's, I, I'm trying to squint and count it in five transmissions. You can from just the blue barely team. see it. So Marmot E has a couple of failed transmissions here, but relative to the amount of energy that's going into the spectrum, this is working really, really well. And the the plan, what they're forecasting and what they're doing are like pitch perfect accurate. Yes, exactly. Let's continue to run the match. So right now we're on stage two. As we move into stage three, the most difficult of the stages. Uh, things don't look quite as clean, right? That that looks pretty messy, actually. Uh, but I, I want to highlight that as an ensemble, they're actually still doing fairly well. The teams are all putting points on the board. Yeah. And we see every type of traffic being closed. We can't see it highlighted here for, for imagery, but you see calls being serviced, command and control being serviced, and I especially want to highlight the fact that Green is man or Hamlet Radio is managing to service the video links, which are by far and away the most difficult type of traffic. The hardest traffic. And you know, they've, they've actually done better here in, in stage three than they did in stage two. That's right. Uh, so overall, Paul, the reason I picked this match is that, that dynamic auction-like behavior, and just throughout all three stages, I think we saw a lot of consistent success. Can we go and go to the match summary? So Ben, I, I think, what I really like about this match that you picked here is that um, the collaboration is being used not as an afterthought, but clearly as a forethought, right? I mean, these teams are actively advertising in advance where they're going to transmit, then capitalizing on those and, and adapting around each other in order to develop a, a stable spectrum usage strategy. And um, we can really see that reflected in the score because we see, you know, stage over stage over stage, they hit a, a measured level of performance. And if we look up here, Right, folks, you see those, the score lines are really pretty flat, right? So they've found something that is working and it's very consistent in its performance. That's right. Let's go ahead and go to the in-match leaderboard. This is where we're at the last time we saw it. How make radio. Uh, you guys finally got a shot here. Let's play it forward. There we go. All right. So now we've got some shifting. Uh, still very low match count, even for this scenario. And, and we've got 
you know, sub point ties between right, so there's the 12th and 13th place here. There's some fractional math happening there. Uh, so still early. Very right? early. Um, we can see that a handful of teams seem to do seem to stay be hovering around the top. 